Hey guys, welcome back. Let's wire up our Queen Ant Pro CNC. Start by running the spindle cable and the two spindle coolant lines. You will need to cut the supplied coolant lines in half. The direction of flow does not matter. Try your best to keep the cables together and not twisted or tangled throughout this whole process as this will help with EMI down the road. As the spindle cables in the kit are pre-soldered, you can connect it straight to your spindle. Now go ahead and remove the retaining nuts from the spindle for the coolant lines and slide them onto the lines. Then firmly set the coolant lines on the spindle and tighten the nuts down to prevent any leaking. The cables in the kit are clearly marked based on their length and amount of wires. Find the Z-axis motor cable and the Z-axis Z plus end stop cable and run them through your drag chain to the Z-axis. Once you have run these, we will go ahead and connect the Z-motor. There are quick connects included with the kit. These work fine and you can use them if you choose. For those that know me, they know that I like to solder all my connections to keep them clean and tidy. Feel free to choose your method. The idea is the same, you're simply extending the wires back to your controller. So keep the colors matched up. My process is as follows. I slide on some heat shrink, then braided wire shield, then more heat shrink. Push that all out the way and slide on a smaller heat shrink to each wire. Solder them together and then cover with the small heat shrink. Once you have done all four wires, slide a larger heat shrink down and then the braided cable shield. Then apply some heat to these. Let's move to the front of the machine so that I can show you how to extend the wires to the end stops. The process is the same for each, but it will be easiest to demonstrate on this one. This is our wire axis negative end stop. The wire colors on the end stops don't match the cable, so we need to keep things consistent. Here we will go brown to red, blue to black, and black to yellow. Again, the quick connects can be used here if you like. Once this is done, go ahead and repeat the same steps for the X negative, X positive, the Y positive and the Z positive end stops.
Once these are all done, let's clean up our wiring. My drag chains are slightly different to the ones provided in the kit, so I have had to design some 3D printed mounts for them. I will link to the STL files below as well as the drag chains I have used. Spend the time to make sure your cables are not tangled or crossed over while running them. I also like to place my spindle wire on one side, then my coolant lines between it and the rest of my cables. This just gives a little bit of separation to help with EMI. Make sure you add one last cable before closing up the cable chain for the X-axis motor. Once that is all tucked away, go ahead and wire up your X-axis motor the same way you did your Z. Lastly, you will need to wire your two Y-axis motors on the back of the machine. Once you have done this, you will have a nice pile of cables coming from the machine. Keep things neat, and in the next video we will wire up our DDCS controller. Thanks again for watching. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.